In a couple of days, Donald Trump faces a critical and expensive deadline. On Monday, New York Attorney General Letitia James will be in a position to begin collecting on the roughly half a billion dollar penalty that the former president owes New York State after last month's judgment against him in his civil fraud trial. That could mean seizure of some of Trump's most prized properties if the former president is not able to put up either the money or a financial guarantee while he continues to appeal that case. It looked like that's where things were headed after his lawyers submitted a court filing this week saying that their client could not find an insurance company to underwrite a bond for the massive penalty. But early yesterday morning, the former president appeared to undercut his lawyers, claiming in a post on Truth Social that, quote, through hard work, talent and luck, I currently have almost $500 million in cash. Then, just hours after that post, shareholders of a company called Digital World Acquisition Corp voted to merge with the Trump Media and Technology Group, which owns the social media platform, Truth Social. The newly emerged company will likely go public next week, a move that could result in a massive financial windfall of over $3 billion for the former president. Trump won't be able to take out any of that money in time to pay the penalty that he owes in New York, but it offers him a lifeline at a vulnerable time, and I'll explain how in a minute. That merger between Trump Social's parent company and Digital World Acquisitions was two and a half years in the making. But there's a story to be told that provides some important context to Trump's current situation, and it involves TikTok, a conservative PAC, and a really rich man named Jeffrey Yass. Yas is the Pennsylvania billionaire owner of the financial firm Susquehanna International Group. He's a conservative mega donor and a major investor who has a $33 billion stake in ByteDance, the Chinese parent company that owns TikTok. Keep that in mind. Reuters identified Yas as the top donor of this election season, having donated, quote, more than $46 million to Republican causes so far in the 2024 election cycle, data from political donations tracker Open Secrets shows. That includes donations to four of Trump's Republican primary opponents, Ron DeSantis, Vivek Ramaswamy, Tim Scott, and even Chris Christie, who's a prominent Trump critic. But notably, Yas has not given any money to the former president himself. Yas is also a major donor to the conservative nonprofit group Club for Growth. In 2023 alone, Yas gave $16 million to the political action committee uh, affiliated with the Club for Growth. And as NBC News points out, quote, the organization and its related groups have also worked hard to mobilize opposition to a TikTok ban on Capitol Hill. It was through Club for Growth that Trump and Yas recently got acquainted. And this is where things began to catch the critics' attention. Trump had a falling out with Club for Growth during the 2022 midterms. The two camps split on whom to support in some key races. But earlier this year, they mended fences with a little help from Yas, who was one of the people who reached out to the former president about attending Club for Growth's retreat this year. So on March 1st, Donald Trump accepted the invitation and attended the group's retreat in Palm Beach. He even gave a speech at the gathering, during which he gave Yas a shout-out, calling the billionaire, quote, fantastic. Then, six days later, on March 7th, Trump suddenly announced that he'd changed his mind about TikTok and came out against banning it, just as bipartisan efforts to force ByteDance to divest from TikTok were gaining steam in the House of Representatives. This was a significant reversal, especially considering that in 2020, while he was still president, Donald Trump signed an executive order that stated, quote, the United States must take aggressive action against the owners of TikTok to protect our national security, end quote. Trump's flip-flop on TikTok was baffling, even among his allies and supporters. Steve Bannon, who served in the Trump administration, suggested that Trump changed his stance for, quote, the Yas coin an apparent insinuation that Jeff Yass had some influence over the GOP nominee. Trump, however, batted those accusations away. Mr. President, you met uh, recently with Jeff Yass, who's a hedge fund manager, has a stake in TikTok. Uh, he's a huge GOP donor. Uh, Steve Bannon has suggested that you, you've been paid off uh, to, to switch your view. How did you, your, your view change? How did that come about? And, and did you have a conversation with Jeff Yass about it? No, I didn't. I met with him very briefly. I made a speech, and I said hello to him and his wife, who's lovely. It was a meeting that lasted for a few minutes. 
Mm. No, the only one I met was uh, I met them both, and they're you know I never I don't think I ever met him before, but he never mentioned TikTok. That brings us back to yesterday's merger between Digital World Acquisitions and the Trump Media and Technology Group. This is a huge development as the embattled ex-president continues to face a litany of ongoing legal and political issues. But Trump's recent association with Yas is important to note because, as the Philadelphia Inquirer reports, quote, Jeffrey Yas's firm was the largest institutional shareholder as of December in the company that has merged with Truth Social. Susquehanna has held the stock in Digital World Acquisitions Corp since the merger between Digital World Acquisition Corp and Trump Media was first announced in October of 2021.